The skeletally thin man comes to me with a palpable air of desperation. It's the same old story. A terminal disease. Western medicine could only do so much. I've travelled so far, you're my last hope, and so on. I request payment up front. Cash. Naturally. I start as always with the laying on of hands, feeling his aura. I tell him that I sense a great malignancy dwelling inside him. I recommend psychic surgery. Yes, that'll cost extra. I lead him to my back room and ask him to lay down and take off his shirt as I prepare myself. I begin the process, pressing down with the fingertips of my left hand on his abdomen. I bend my fingers, pretending that I am thrusting through flesh, then drawing my knuckles in a straight line, framing an incision. I tear open the bag of pig's blood I had earlier palmed. The sudden sensation of liquid on skin surprises him. Good. I take my time, pulling out a few grisly lumps of fat, courtesy of the village butcher, and present them to him. These, I declare, are the things that are ailing him. With a flourish, I pull out a cloth and wipe the blood off. No scars, what a miracle. He gets dressed, noticeably happier. I bid him farewell. He will soon die, of course, and this episode will be remembered as a desperate man's folly. I will be cursed by his family as a charlatan, and that's perfectly fine with me. Because I'll be damned before I allow myself to be responsible for releasing that thing living within him into this world.